this uh, special video for Jeremy Fragrance Review Contest and of course I'm gonna talk about Jeremy a lot. Before I get started, I really want to say thank you to Jeremy because he really put a lot of effort on reviewing fragrances and he really influenced a lot of people all over the world, including me obviously. Before I know about Jeremy, I don't know anything about fragrance. In my country, nobody applies fragrance and they don't even care about what they smell. When I came to America for my high school, I found out there are some people around me are very attractive. The one thing I found out about fragrance is it's actually another way to express yourself or display your emotion to other people. And in another word, when you interact with people, the smell that comes from you pleases other people. Believe it or not, in our five sensory system, the sense of sound, the sense of sight, the sense of taste, the sense of touch, and this, of course the sense of smell. And the most memory that you can get from them is the sense of smell. In fact, you can get 40% of what you smell because the sense of smell is connected directly to your emotional system in your brain. That's how important fragrance to us. So my fragrance journey started three years ago when I was searching online on YouTube and I found the fragrance review from Jeremy and he's talking about uh, Fragrance House Penhaligon and uh, one of their fragrance is very similar to his favorite, La Louis de Lome. What makes his, his fragrance reviews so unique is that he's talking about his own opinion and then he's using his own criteria uh, like uniqueness, longevity, versatility. Yes, he's doing it like academically, it's not just for fun. And what makes his YouTube channel valuable is what I think is he asks other people's opinion. He go out and find a completely strangers to him and then he will ask about how they think the fragrance is. Uh, and he asks his colleagues, he asks his friends, and of course he asks all the girls and then he gets feedback from them and then he started to review the fragrance. Obviously if you don't find out how do other people think about the fragrance and how can you determine whether it's a good fragrance or not? Jeremy has a very strong personal charisma. That's why people get influenced by him. And I really, I really appreciate that Jeremy is still keeping his own opinion, own thoughts without any sponsors and keep his fragrance journey valuable. So let's talk about my fragrances collections which obviously Jeremy suggested to us. So the first fragrance I bought under Jeremy's influence is Lom by Yves Saint Laurent. So the opening of Lom is a very strong ginger vibe and uh, of course it's a very gorgeous scent and it's very inoffensive and you can wear it like in any form of occasions like wedding, church or office because it's very inoffensive and it's very pleasing. You know, it pleases people and just like Jeremy said this is a summer fragrance and I try to wear it in winter time I don't even get to smell myself so the second fragrance I bought under Jeremy's influence is La Nuit de Lom. of course his favorite all those he got dropped from his top 10 list but for me I still love this although the performance is not as strong as the original one what I like about this fragrance is he has all my favorite notes in there. I like cardamom, I like iris, and I like cedarwood. And this fragrance got all of them in it. Land of the Lone is a very legendary fragrance, just like Jeremy said. So other than Jeremy's favorite fragrance is Land of the Lone. I tried Land of the Lone Le Parfum, which is a stronger version, it's EDP version. And I just want to try if it's a long lasting and I want to try how it smells compared to the original Lano de Lone. I found out it has a very strong pepper notes and uh, it do last longer than the Lano de Lone which got reformulated and uh, but the, the first opening is it's totally different than Lano de Lone but after 30 seconds until it dries down a little bit it smells pretty same like uh, Lano de Lone original and of course I got the, the best uh, tinder fragrance from Jeremy, it's uh, Abercrombie First Instinct. It has a very strong melon notes and it, it can easily last it all hours long. And for me, I even wear this in winter time indoor and I still get a lot of compliments from people. So, Jeremy really did a good job on reviewing cheap fragrances because 
for people like me, I don't really have uh, any income and I'm a student. So buying expensive fragrances is almost impossible. And uh, he really did a very good job on finding all those cheap fragrances as sexy as the expensive ones. And it's very, it's very amazing how it smells. And of course, let's talk about my signature fragrance. It's Aqua Di Giù Profumo by Giorgio Armani. I tried the original one, but just like Jeremy said, this is stronger than the original one. It's a very fresh fragrance and it has fragrances and patchouli in it. And how could be how could it be a fresh fragrance if it has patchouli and fragrances and incense notes in it? That's why I choose this. It, it amazes me. Of incense based fragrance smells fresh up to eight hours. And also I really like the sense of Versace Dylan Blue. It's a very fresh fragrance and it's a very strong amber note. For those of you who doesn't like amber notes, I don't really think you will like this fragrance, but I love it because it gives you like 10 hours fresh note. 10 hours fresh. It's like a, it's kind of like a shower gel, but it's it's a for me it's all occasional. Even you can wear it in winter because it has a very strong fresh fresh note that come from amber, and uh, you can wear it in summer. And the best occasion, of course, is in the summer. Was actually done in blue. And also, Versace Arrows, and uh, this one is I bought two years ago. It's uh, it was very strong scent, and it's very good. It, I love cinnamon with apple, and it has cinnamon and apple, of course. And when I went to mall, I, I put this on, and after one week, and I smell the clothes that I wear to the mall, I can smell this Versace Arrows after one week. And then the Jeremy is from 2017, I guess, was Hala Long. I, I, I get it. I, I, I really enjoy the smell of it. And uh, to be honest, this is the best release from the fragrances house uh, Prada. This is the fresh fabric softener with a luxury vibe. It's a very good on summer, and I try it. It's even better when you dress up like this, and it's very good to wear this during wedding or it's very good in any formal occasions this is very good and very fresh it uh, has a very uh, very good Irish note in there even mm -hmm. me suggest you to buy this and of course the uh, Chanel fragrance blow the Chanel how could I miss this one it's all the parfum so it's good it's good it's good how can I miss this scent? It's a magnetic cap, and I just like this gorgeous opening, just like Jenny said, it's gorgeous opening. I could smell all day and without resting. Very solid, it's from Chanel. So after all the fragrances I reviewed, I bought from Jeremy. My next target is Invictus. Aqua, not the Invictus original. But as you know, Invictus Aqua is a discontinued fragrances, so I couldn't get it from any store in America. And I searched it online, it's it's very expensive. It's like a hundred and seventy-five dollars, a hundred dollars for a used bottle. It's very hard to get Invictus Aqua here in America. I don't know where else I can get that. Uh, so this is it. This is the video about Jeremy fragrance review contest that I made and uh, To be honest, I really want to start reviewing fragrance on YouTube But I don't think it's necessary because Jeremy already reviewing all the fragrances I really can't do a spin here because the space is very narrow, but I'll try to do a double spin, okay? Oh! See you next time with another video. Peace